Pollination is an important process that helps plants grow fruits, vegetables, and seeds. It's like a plant's way of making new plants. Pollination happens when tiny grains called pollen move from one part of a flower to another or from one flower to a different flower of the same type. This allows the plant to make seeds that can grow into new plants. The process of pollination starts with flowers. Flowers have special parts inside them called the anther and the stigma. The anther holds the pollen, and the stigma is the sticky part where the pollen needs to land. When pollen moves from the anther to the stigma, the flower is pollinated and can start making seeds. But flowers can't move pollen by themselves, they need help. This is where pollinators come in. Pollinators are animals like bees, butterflies, birds, and even bats that help carry pollen from flower to flower. While these animals visit flowers to drink nectar or collect pollen for food, they accidentally move pollen between flowers. Bees are some of the best pollinators because they visit many flowers and collect lots of pollen on their fuzzy bodies. The wind and water can also help with pollination. Some plants, like grasses and trees, don't have colorful flowers to attract pollinators. Instead, they rely on the wind to carry their pollen to other plants. You might see pollen floating in the air during spring. This is part of how these plants pollinate. Pollination is very important for the environment and for people. Without pollination, many of the foods we eat wouldn't exist. Apples, strawberries, tomatoes, and almonds are just a few examples of plants that depend on pollination to grow. Pollination also helps flowers and trees grow, providing homes and food for animals and keeping the planet green. Unfortunately, pollinators like bees and butterflies are facing challenges because of habitat loss, pesticides, and climate change. To help pollinators, we can plant flowers in our gardens, avoid using harmful chemicals, and protect the natural areas where they live. Learning about pollination helps us understand how plants, animals, and people are all connected. The next time you see a bee buzzing around a flower or a butterfly landing on a petal, remember, they are hard at work helping plants grow and making the world a more colorful and delicious place.